mature list. So we knew that when 2004 came, we just felt that we didn't want to let ourselves and our supporters and our families down again. So we knew we had one last crack at it. And, you know, 2004 was a pretty special year, I must admit. Agree, they chorus their boos. Peter Burgoyne, who was electric in the first half, looks good again. Wanganeen, been dangerous up forward. What a wonderful player he is. And that was a perfect kick. And it's capped off by Marnie. Hands off to his brother. Oh, that was a shocking miss. Oh, they're playing with one of those old plastic footies. It's just not spinning right. Thurston's car, although Port Adelaide are using it okay. Peter Burgoyne, Thurston's, oh, here they go again. The they're line. lining up. Wanganeen pulls out the winning ticket in the ball raffle and sends it home. Well, Port Adelaide after that. Another clearance to the power. Kingsley inside the 50. Treadray eased in the back. Wanganeen a goal and kick a goal anyway. And the goal will stand. Ford of half back, floats it to midfield, in from the side, Dowdy got a fist on it, but it wasn't convincing, brilliant, Marnie sprung to his feet, got it to Burgoyne, to Wanganeen, 35 metres out, it's tight, I think it's okay, he's got it. No, I don't think we tried to do too much different, um, I just felt we were a little bit more relaxed mentally, um, we just felt that we'll, we don't want to get too stressed out about it all. We just want to go and play footy, keep playing good footy like, we, like we've been over the last, you know, well, the previous two, three years. Um, and we knew that if we, would get a, if we did get another crack at it, and finally we, we, we just believed deep down that we'd make the most of it. I think we'll see a lot more of Damon White. Nice kick into Kane Corns. Back to the veteran in Wanganoon. What a superstar. On the right boot. Pumps it in long and great courage. Thurston's. Points out a huge handle out towards Pickett. Has one to beat. Does it quite easily. Now puts it inside 50. Underneath it. Mark taken by Wanganoon. Takes on Mooney. Then takes on Wojcicki. Then kicks a goal. And don't the crowd love it. Third time lucky. Uh, <laughs> Well, we weren't going to make it luck. We were going to make it uh, desperation and all the rest of it. We were just going to get the job done, and we did that uh, against uh, the Cats on that day, and that was very satisfying to know that we get our, our uh, crack uh, uh, the following uh, fortnight. That St Kilda game, that prelim final, was one of the amazing games I've ever been involved in. I mean, when you look at it, we probably should have lost that game. Um, St Kilda dominated us early. One good thing I think is uh, Fraser Garrett kicking his hundred goal because they had the, I, after that I feel it was a huge momentum swing for us. They were dominating and to have the, the fans come out onto the oval to you know give them a high five or whatever. I just felt um, their momentum slipped a little bit. And these guys like Roger James, um, he had a ripper that night. Started getting in, in and under and just started getting the ball our way and feeding feeding off our runners and. Slowly, slowly got ourselves back into the game. And with the wrong foot, kicking their third goal. The last quarter um, during that St Kilda game, I obviously had a, a quiet night. And um, Chuck, I said, "Come on, Gav, mate, do something for us. You know, the most important game of our lives here." And I just couldn't get into the game for another reason, for some reason or another. And um, anyway, I was lucky enough to take a diving mark on the 50 metre line at the start of that last quarter, and go back and slot a long goal, which is probably way off my distance. We are underway in the final term at Footy Park, and it's Port Adelaide who get the first advantage, and here comes Wanganeen, flying out of the square. Wanganeen can kick torps, and here, I don't know what he's going for, but he can kick this distance. Maybe he is going to favour, now he goes the drop punt. That is a mighty kick. That is a kick from the top shelf. And slotted that one in, and then it was just so close all night. It was, I think, it was you know within a point or two most of the night, well, most of the last quarter anyway. And um, uh, late in that last quarter, I remember a boundary throw in, the ball got tapped towards the boundary line, and I was just sort of anticipated it. I just rolled the dice and um, faked to go one way, but I went went the opposite way and went to the, towards the boundary, and the ball came towards the boundary line. I picked it up and. Yeah, I just had a shot from the boundary line, so it's sort of... And these are the shots that you, we practice all the time at training. And, and I like trying on the boundary line, on the run, you give it a bit of a kick and you try and 
hit it on the right side of the ball, so you know you're going to get late swing, back, swinging back in. Noble and Brogan, and Noble wins again, but to Wanganeen, who kicked a goal earlier in the quarter. Surely there'll be a score. There is. There's a major score. So I did that, and yeah, it paid off, thank goodness, because um, uh, who knows what would have happened if we'd lost that game. I mean, we'd be grumpy old men, I think. Relief. Um, it was.